I'm Tim Kingsbury from West Virginia University. And we'd like to uh, address our the board members of HP. And we, would, we are your consulting firm. And yesterday we explained the legality, the financial, and the ethical issues of 3D printing in the market that we're trying to get you guys involved in. And we started off with... All right, so in selling 3D printers, what is HP's ethical dilemma? And we've identified the ethical dilemma for HP as being, number one, selling an in, uh, 3D printers is, first of all, uh, potentially uh, negative in terms of intellectual property rights. And secondly, it could be dangerous uh, for users of the, gun, uh, of the 3D printer because they can create guns, um, plastic guns, without any sort of metal in them that will fire and uh, have the same level of destruction as a normal gun, uh, but they also tend to explode in their user's face. So we don't want to talk about the consequences of gun ownership or the ethics of that. What we want to focus on is HP's ethical uh, stance in the market and what kind of solutions we can implement for HP so that they can sell 3D printing uh, with the least amount of consequences, uh, least amount of negative consequences involved. So in doing so, uh, we've uh, established that HP's duty is to sell um, 3D printers and create as much wealth and profit for their shareholders. Now, with this, there also is a secondary duty of uh, a long, creating long-term wealth. And in modern day uh, business, that includes being ethical. Um, so we've identified several stakeholders that HP must adhere to, and I think John's going to talk about that. Our stakeholders in this situation are you, HP, and your shareholders, and what you guys have to gain and lose in this situation is, obviously, with the booming market, you guys have the opportunity to increase your sales, your profits, or your sales, your revenues, and ultimately your profit off of this. Um, the downside is, you are gonna face some ethical entanglements because of what Tim said, with the ability to print these plastic guns and the possibility of counterfeit items that someday we believe the printer will be able to manufacture. The other stakeholder is the consumer market. With the, that's where the counterfeit goods really come into play, where other businesses have something to lose uh, because of the abilities of the 3D printer. The cons of that, with any other industry, booming markets, in-store in sales will probably go down because people will be able to now just go to their printer and print out almost any object they really want and besides anything organic or low on those matters. And then ultimately, people and society. You have the ability to create organs and other things that can help people that we don't to further what we have today. And the downside of that, again, is with lives. You're putting lives at risk by putting these guns out there, not only for the users, but also the people, the other people uh, in society. And I want to add that, uh, as HP's consulting firm, we firmly believe that selling 3D printers is the ethical option because number one, it is an emerging market. There's a lot of profit in it for HP, and since HP's primary duty is to uh, create uh, revenue for their shareholders, um, it certainly meets that criteria. Uh, but additionally, the ethical implications for society are also very positive. Uh, we feel that um, with 3D printing, the implications in the health industry in particular are strong enough that any negative consequence of this technology would be significantly outweighed by the positive uh, implications such as printing organs and, and skin uh, for various um, people in need. So really our concern is addressing some of the negatives with solutions that are going to mitigate uh, some of the some of this fallout, and we've identified five um, solutions for HP to consider that will reduce the risk of one plastic guns being introduced to um, on a sort of black market, and two reduce the impact of intellectual property rights being stolen. So first, I'd like to talk about our CAD market solution um, now. The ethical focus from the CAD market solution is a severe reduction in intellectual property rights being stolen. With this, the de uh, designers of CAD technology, uh, computer-aided design, these are basically the blueprints um, that the 3D printers used. Uh, the, de the designers of those can put them online for a timed amount, and by a timed amount we mean they 
the users of the printers only have a certain amount of time to print these so that they can't go creating multiple copies. So this protects the designer's ethical right to their designs. They are uh, in a situation where they would not have to worry as if their intellectual property that they've created these designs is going to go out and you know, people are just going to create a bunch of counterfeits and, and their artistic work is going to be uh, deemed sort of um, in fact, or useless or not having much value because you know, it's out there and anyone can take it. Secondly, uh, to counter the uh, potential gun creation that uh, has severe negative uh, implications in terms of the user's safety. Uh, we've recommended that HP have a rigid control of the uh, materials involved in the 3D printer. So for example, if a company uses, uh, or if someone purchases a certain amount of plastic that is suspicious without any metal to create a gun, and HP is aware that there's a gun that uses a certain amount of plastic, HP could shut down the sale for the safety of their customers because they know that the customer may not be fully informed of you know, the danger in what they're doing. So HP has an ethical obligation to their customers to prevent them from uh, doing something that is, that is extremely dangerous. Um, um, to backtrack with the uh, counterfeit in market with the CAD market, uh, if you look back at iTunes, before iTunes was established, the legal download of music, there was really no other way to get your music besides the CDs, the video cassettes, and or going to a live concert. And iTunes really established that security that in the music industry where the artists would get paid per download, but also Apple had their income per song. And that's kind of where the CAD market comes in, where designers and big brand names can post their CADs to the, to the market and they will receive income per download and ultimately HP will also receive some income per download. And that's what we feel will really put the intellectual property in a safer position. So basically just to summarize, HP's dilemma is that 3D printers have negative consequences on the market, but they should enter the market because the positives far outweigh the negatives. So our solutions identify uh, exactly what these negatives are and how to address them. So another solution that we have is um, informing the users, uh, the downloaders of these CADs, of the dangers of using a 3D printer. Um, we don't want there to be any information loss in between HP, the seller of the 3D printer, and the consumer who's buying the 3D printer. So we've established strict terms of usage uh, that make sure that the consumer knows exactly what they're getting into when they make a 3D printer, what its implications are, and this is especially helpful for business-to-business -business clients because when a business orders a 3D printer, they need to make sure that their employees are using it correctly. So the employer knows exactly what the 3D printer's capabilities are, and then we've also recommended additional security features for the business that are going to ensure that it's used correctly. And one thing that we've talked about is introducing two-person authentication. So, for example, say an employee is disgruntled at their workplace and they perhaps want to use the 3D printer incorrectly. Um, with two-person authentication, it would take an additional employee to create something on the 3D printer. Uh, for the business, this is obviously a an ethical relief because they know that their 3D printer is not going to be used in a way that's going to harm society or their business. And they can rest assured that buying a 3D printer is a safe option for them. And just to add on to that, everybody has an iPhone nowadays. And I think you guys are all familiar with the term of jailbreak, jailbreaking your iPhone. And what Apple does when you jailbreak your iPhone is they relinquish all ownership of your iPhone. They will not fix it, you will not be able to download anything else from them, and they, t they are not at fault at all. And that's what we're going to set up. If you try to jailbreak your printer in a way to produce something illegal, HP has nothing to do with the actual printer anymore. That is your property and nothing can fall, nothing can fall back on us. Mm -hmm. and, and to do this ethically, it's important that people understand the dangers of their 3D printer and that HP is taking a very proactive stance in preventing these uh, negative consequences of 3D printing from becoming prominent in the market. Um, so simply just to summarize, we believe that HP should certainly engage in the 3D printing market because of the benefits are so uh, 
so overwhelming. And with our recommendations in place, they will have a much easier time um, getting in the market and mitigating some of the negative ethical uh, implications that comes with creating a new technology. Um, so we want to thank you for your time today. And, uh, thank you.